Hi boys and girls. Now that you have been introduced to the elements of art, shape, color, line, texture, value, and form, we're going to do an exercise to help you remember all six. Now, you're going to take your leaf and you're going to start with it on top of your paper just like that. Then you're going to choose any color crayon. It doesn't have to be green. It can be any color you like. I'm going to choose red because that will show up nice and neat, easy. And this is convenient because it doesn't have any paper on it. I'll show you how to take the paper off so you can do the project later. Okay. First thing you're going to do is draw the outline, which is the outer edge of the leaf. And then you're going to move the leaf off the shape that you've drawn and then draw the lines of the veins on the inside. So that will help us remember that the shape of a leaf and line are two elements of art. So watch, I'll show you how to do it. You need to hold your leaf as still as possible. If you move your leaf, then it'll change the shape as we do the outline. So see, I'm holding it down with several fingers. Instead of, while I pick my hand up over here, I'm still holding it down with this finger over here. So I'm gonna move it around so the leaf doesn't move. I'm gonna go all the way around. Connect it up and wrap it all the way around. And look, I have the shape of this leaf. Now I can draw the lines of the veins. Now if I look really closely, I can draw that one right there. And it curves a little bit and then it breaks off and it goes all the way to the tip. And then all the, the veins go off in the direction of the sides of the leaf. So try and draw it as accurately or exactly as you see it. Take your time on this. It's okay to go slow when you're drawing. So we have the outline or the shape of the leaf. Now we have the lines of the veins. Okay. The next thing I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you take this leaf and you're going to put it underneath your paper. Now, when you do this, you, the technique I'm going to teach you is called a frittage. And technically, that's the technical name for it, but it's basically just a rubbing. Okay, so you want to put the leaf under your paper with the vein side up. So you'll need to flip it over. That's the top side of the leaf. The, si the sun side, the, si the side of the leaf where the sun comes down and, and um, hits the top. But the underneath side is the vein side, and you can feel a difference because they're raised up more. So you're going to put that underneath your paper. Place your paper right on top of it, cover it up, and then with your finger, feel, you can feel the leaf underneath it. Now, a good rubbing technique is make sure you don't press too hard or too softly with the crayon, and don't leave spaces between your crayon lines. You need to make sure you hold that leaf very still underneath there so it doesn't move. Now, another element of art is color. We know fall leaves are fall leaves because, because of their color. Now, on this project, you need to use a variety of colors. Now, I've already started peeling the paper off the crayon. Just peel it all the way off and make sure this goes into your tabletop trash can. But hold your leaf down. You, you don't want to do a rubbing with the tip of your crayon like you're holding it with a pencil. You want to lay it on, flat on its side. And you're going to start in the middle, press down medium pressure, not hard pressure, and work your way to the edge. Still hold your leaf down and work from the middle and rub out to the edge. That way it won't tear your leaf. And 
Now on your paper you have both a frottage in blue color, and color's an element of art. You also press down and you can see the implied texture of the leaf this way. The texture is an element of art. You've done the outline, the line, and the only one we're missing on this one is form. And we know that this doesn't, it's the form of the leaf is only going to be implied. You can feel the texture underneath, but the form, we can't pick these up. Okay, so these are two-dimensional, not three-dimensional. Now you can fill your page with as many rubbings as you like. You can fill them with as many outlines and lines. You can make it any way you like to. You have to have at least have one outline with the details of the veins, the lines, include lines in yours, and you have to include at least one rubbing. At the end of class, I'm going to quiz you and see if you can remember all six elements of art. Shape, color, line, texture, value, and form. Shape of the leaf, the colors, the lines, the texture, the way the leaf feels to your fingertips, the value. You can make your rubbing even darker. You press harder. And that will change the value, won't it? And form, form, we can't pick it up, so it's a 2D. It's not 3D. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, uh, while you're working, I will come around and talk to you. For those of you who need to know how to take the paper off your crayon, the best tip is just to drag your fingernail across it, pull it down, and then start peeling it back. Again, make sure all the crayon paper goes into your tabletop trash can and then your trash can is emptied at the end of class. Alright, happy making art!